or I could or I could catch a man. <laughs> What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie, and today I'm reviewing Redcon 1 MRE Protein Muffins. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out all the dang time for you. So click subscribe and let's get into this, homies. God bless you, man. I hope you're feeling good. I'm no stranger to freaking Redcon 1, man. We've had a turbulent, unorthodox relationship, man. Me and Singer. Singerman. Snickle Fritz Singerman, I used to call them, man. But uh, God bless them and their success, man. I have had a lot of... I've given them a lot of really bad, horrible reviews. In fact, like, my most watched video is about why I would never uh, recommend anyone buying their products. But I bought these, homie. I bought these. I bought the MRE Protein Muffin. That's what Wild Blueberry. We used to call you Blueberry Muffin in the pen, homie. Blueberry Muffin, I remember you, homie. We're going to find out how you taste today, son. And this one is Double Chocolate Chip Muffin. We also used to call you Double Chocolate Chip Muffin in rehab. Now, I remember that, man. Double chocolate chip muffin, I remember you. Anyway, man, I got boxes of these hitters. 12 servings in a box. We're going to talk about the facts. I've gone through just about the whole box. And uh, I also got a few boxes I'm going to review. I got their MRE bar, double, or no, oatmeal chocolate chip and banana nut bread. I also have their protein brookie, chocolate fudge and birthday cake homie birthday cake all right man so we're going to talk about the facts i'm going to do the taste test i know you homies love the taste test but for real though man i've given redcon one used to have my heart man like before i ever started the channel for years a few years man uh about a year man i used their supplements loved it man i was higher than giraffe vagina on that total war uh, I will, Big Noise was a freaking hitter. I cannot believe what they did to Big Noise. They freaking, man, what did Big Noise do to you, homies? That the uh, L-theanine in a non-stim pre, Citra Peak? That thing used to be the truth, homie. Uh, what else, man? They got a lot of watered-down Walmart-esque just nonsense, homie. So we're going to talk about this. Their MRE bars, man, are kind of promising in these protein brookies. So we're going to see about this. I'm not just looking to hate on it, man. Like, I'm going to tell you, I recently reviewed their uh, uh, Total War Black Ops. I ain't going to lie, homie. That thing was a freaking hitter. Stim Junkie, Sick Pumps, Sick Energy, Alpha Yo, Stim Junkie Hitter. That was a legit supplement that they have. They also have a fat burner called Seaburn, which looks really good, man. That has alpha yo and only a couple hundred milligrams of caffeine. I'd really like to run that just for old time's sake, man. Just so I could, just so I could freaking shine their schlong a little, man. Stroke their ego. Anyway, man, let's talk about the facts. We'll start with the, uh, the, I'm just here for entertainment, homie. By the time you're seeing this, I'm going to be on my stim break. So I just wanted to give you some entertainment. Supplement facts. So I've been eating these every day, one of each flavor, instead of my Papa Steve bars. I, I got these super cheap, and I figured I'd buy them just for some content for the channel and see how they were, man. I was hoping they'd be good, actually. I didn't buy them hoping they'd suck. Uh, just like those MRE bars and the protein brookie. I hope they're fire. Um, so I've been on these first because they're the lowest calorie. Just been trying to eat away at them. And uh, so this one's 230, the chocolate, and the other one's 210 calories. So let's talk about the label. We'll get into the taste test and we'll be done. All right, man, 230 calories. Total grams of fat, nine grams, four grams of saturated, saturated fat, sodium 300. So if you're eating two of them, you're getting 600 milligrams of sodium. That's fine with me. Uh, total carbs, 
20 grams, so it's high, but we're not scared of carbs right now. It's winter time, homie. Uh, total sugar, seven grams with three grams of added sugar and 15 grams of protein. So having said that, man, uh, if I'm eating two of these, I'm getting 30 grams of protein. That's okay. Usually if I eat like two Papa Steve's bars, I'm getting somewhere from 30 to 40 or if I ate two of those MREs, I think I'd be getting 40, so 30, whatever. So you're getting 30 grams of protein and two of them together with the calories, it's only 440 uh, calories. So it's, it's actually nice and low. Um, but then here's the other ingredient, the ingredients. And this is where things take a turn for the worst. These are, this is where there's bumps in the road, homie. This is where they're up to their old tricks again. Who's this? Okay, I'm gonna have to get that in a second. Um, now, the full freaking label, very long, a million ingredients. Protein blend is the first one, thank God. So they're not giving you whey protein. It's collagen's the first type, then pea protein, then beef protein isolate, then rice protein. So this is their MRE. Then eggs, so that's nice. Then it's where things get iffy. Vegetable oils, palm, soybean, sunflower, sweetener, yada, yada. Dude, I'm not even going to read all these. There's a zillion ingredients in here. So this label absolute trash let's just put it this way absolute garbage next up <laughs> the wild blueberry pretty much the same thing a little more sodium 330 milligrams 15 grams of protein same freaking huge label insanely huge label and uh just trash labels completely just they're muffins homie they're muffins with protein all right, man, so let's open these up. Let me show you what, you, what we're working with, and I'm gonna tell you if they're worth it or not worth it, and what the pros and the cons are. The pros are the 30 grams of protein with two of them. So this is what the chocolate chip hitter looks like. We're gonna digest it together, and this is what the blueberry hitter looks like. Now, I do wanna say, are they crumbly? They're not too crumbly. Let's see, let's bring you in here so you can see what we're working with here. Ah, hold on. Mm, mm. Look, man, I'm going to give it to you straight. They're dry as heck. They look, dry, they look dry, they feel dry, they taste dry. Mm. You need like water. Just to be straight, the labels are absolute trash. And also, the real life world experience of eating them is trash too. Completely extras, homie. Mm. I say these are not worth it. You're better off getting some clean bars. Even their MRE bars, I'd say are better. There's no reason in the world I would ever buy these again or eat them, even if they were offered for free. I don't have any room for protein muffins in my regimen, homie. Completely unnecessary. But some of you like to do that, uh, what do they call it? Flexible dieting. <laughs> Flexible. That's basically where you kind of can't really go all in with the clean eating. So you want to eat, you know, fit junk in your macros. I think that's that flexible dieting thing you guys are on. The blueberry, let's see which is better. Mmm. Yep, that's just as bad. Nah, man, these ain't it. Total trash. Mm-mm. They're just dry. Completely unnecessary. I'd rather eat a couple bars with 20 grams of protein than these dang muffins. 
Well, I say absolutely not worth it. I hope you enjoyed the review. <laughs> These are just trash products, let's be honest. These are trash products. Now, I hope you guys stay tuned for the bars that I'm going to reveal and those brookies. Those might be more promising, but as of these muffins, completely extras. No one's got room for these in their regimen. Get the heck out of here with the snickle fritz. God bless all of you. That's what I got. Together, let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.